Upwork has never been as difficult as it is right now. So many new freelancers are turning to Fiverr and other alternative platforms due to the various changes and charges that Upwork has introduced over the last few years, making it more difficult than ever to succeed as a newbie. So, if you find yourself in that situation, you definitely need all the help you can get to break through. And one of the cheat codes you can use to stay ahead of the competition is to let Upwork send a notification for every single job post that fits your skill or area of expertise. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up all that so you can use your time for other productive things instead of constantly refreshing your job feed for new jobs while you stay ahead of the competition and submit proposals even faster. When I first started on Upwork, believe it or not, I had many nights of staying awake refreshing my job feed to be one of the first to submit proposals for new jobs. I can tell you from experience that it wasn't an easy period for me. But the good thing is that at that time, it paid off and that was what got me to where I am today as far as my freelancing career is concerned. But with the new changes on Upwork, especially with the bidding option, you are not guaranteed the first few spots even if you submit your proposals 2 seconds after the job posting has been posted. But even though you may not be able to have the first 4 spots, the good news is that you can still show up as high as the 5th or 6th freelancers on that list without spending the extra connects to bid or by submitting your proposals early enough. A quick thing to note is that Upwork claims that proposals are not arranged by the time of sending but by the freelancer to job match. But from my experience, submitting proposals early is always better. Now there are a couple of ways to do this. The first and easiest one is via a Chrome extension called Upwork Toolkit. While this extension is fantastic, it has its downsides as sometimes it can go off for many hours not sending you notifications for jobs. And secondly, what if you are not on your PC? How do you get notified on your phone? There is no Chrome extension for mobile, so how do you do it? That's why you need to watch the second method because it covers how to get notified on even your phone. So let's get into my computer while I show you how it is done. So to get all the relevant job posting notifications on your PC, you first need to go to the Chrome extension store. I will leave a link to the direct extension in the description to make it easier. Open up your Chrome, then click on this icon here, these three dots here, and then go to extensions here and then select manage extensions. In this uh, manage extension section, you will click on this discover more extensions and themes over here. Um, just click on it and it will take you directly to the Chrome extension store. And in the Chrome extension store, you can now go ahead and type Upwork Toolkit and then click enter. And here is it. It's the first option on your list. It's the first um, extension on the list here. And as you can see, it's a very popular extension. It has been featured on the Google extension um, store. It has over 292 reviews. So all you need to do is to click on it and then um, select Add to Chrome and um, then click on Add extension. As you can see right now, it's up here. You can now right click on it and pin it if you want to. I like having mine pinned here because it helps you to access, to access it even faster. So I like it pinned over here. Once you've downloaded the extension, you can click on it. So these are some of the things that I added for my own niche or, for, or these are the jobs that I want to be notified about in my own niche. As you can see, I've already done a lot of settings for mine already. When you open it the first time, you will have to do some few other second settings. You have to log in, integrate it to your um, Upwork profile and all. But for mine, I've already done it before. So I don't need to do that again. As you can see here, there's a place for feed source where you can actually select the source of your feed, either most recent best matches or, or my feed. You can actually select what or which of the jobs you want to be seeing and it will allow to you. As you can see over here too, there's notification sounds where you can select what type of sound you want to. You want to hear when a job that matches your preference um, comes up on the list. You can also select night mode over here in the Chrome extension. So um, you can also enable and disable it here. So, but we're just going to focus on this job section. This job section is where you are going to get all of the notifications for jobs that are matching whatever criteria, whatever requirement you want to be notified for. So as you can see here on my own job feed, one of the criteria I set is video editor and YouTube. So as you can see, most of the videos or most of the job postings here are related to video editing and all. So it notifies me about job postings that carries these tags and I'm, I'm able to apply faster for these jobs. So that's it for uh, Upwork Toolkit. So I'll be showing you the second way to do this and through this method you can actually get notified on either your phone or even on your, on your system. It's very easy. Let me show you how. So the second method is by using the RSS feed on, in Upwork. Upwork actually has an RSS feed. We can actually copy the URL of a feed that you want to be notified for and actually paste it in a feed supplier or in a feed notifier and it will actually tell you 
when these criteria are met or when jobs with these criteria are posted. So I'll be showing you how right now. And we're going to be using Slack and um, Upwork to do it. So this is easier because it allows you to get notified on even your phone. So to do this, you actually have to be registered on Slack. So you have to go to slack.com and um, sign up on slack.com. After signing up on slack.com, then you can now go ahead and go into all of this process. But for me, I'm already in a, a member of Slack, so it makes everything easier for me. So to get notified for jobs, all you need to do is to actually go to your Upwork profile. Once you are logged in, you can now go to this job search section, or you can type any criteria that you want, maybe video editor, and uh, this is the criteria I want to be notified for. And then you can see it will show me jobs that carries this tag, that carries the tag video editor. And then you can now go ahead and select your preference over here. You can actually choose what type of jobs you want to be notified for, either entry level, intermediate, expert. You can actually set all the criteria here. Or if you want the client to, have, to, have, to be a client that has spent over $800 or $100 to $500 or even $5,000 plus, you can actually set these criteria over here. Number of proposals, my previous client, premiums verified, client history. You can set it here. So after setting all of these criteria, all you need to do is to actually come and click on this icon here. Just click on it and then click on RSS. Select RSS. And once you select RSS, a new page will open. And on this page, you'll see a couple of jargons here. You won't understand what it is because it's an XML file, something like a code. So all you need to do in this thing is that you don't need to get confused over all these things. Don't, you are not going to um, do any coding or whatever. All you need to do is to actually go to the URL bar here and actually copy the URL and then go over to Slack. When you are in Slack right now, to stay organized, you have to start a new channel. Or if you have a channel that you, you know you don't use, you can actually use that. But for me, I'm going to create a new channel or write the name that you want the channel to be named. For me, I will just name it Upwork. Upwork and I'll click on next. I'll, I can make it um, private, only specific people, and then click on create. After clicking on create, all you need to do is to actually go down here to add apps in the Slack menu here, under apps. You actually go to add apps here, and then here in this session, to show you a couple of apps, many apps that you, um, you can integrate into Slack. But here in this search bar, we are going to simply search on RSS, the RSS, App will, be, will come up here in your um, in your Slack uh, apps. All you need to do is to actually click Add, and then it will take you to a new page. So here on this page, you can actually click on Add to Slack and wait for a moment. Now to integrate the Upwork job um, feed, all you need to do is to click on Add RSS integration. It will ask you for a feed URL. This feed URL is where you paste the URL that you copied on Upwork. For me, I've copied it already. So all I need to do is to click on Control V or whatever, or right click and click on Paste. Now, here in this post to channel, you are going to select the channel that you want it posted to. So for me, I'm going to select the channel Upwork. You can actually come down here and click on and search for it, Upwork. And um, mine will come up here, Upwork. This is the channel I want it to be posted to. All I need to do is to click on subscribe to this feed. So now if I just close this tab and go back to Slack and go back to um, my home and go to the Upwork channel, you can actually see that I also got notified for the job posting. Um, you can see some details about the clients, the country the, the clients is from, which is Denmark, the skill video editing and all. Basically, every single thing that I, I set as my criteria to get notified for is what is here. So you can see that it's that easy. You actually get notified on even your phone. So now here comes the sweet part. In order for you to get notified on your phone, you need to download the Slack mobile app on your phone. So I'll do that on my phone right now. So all you need to do is to click on your Play Store or your App Store, whatever phone you're using, either iPhone or, or Android, whatever you're using, just go to your App Store and it will show you the app. Now, I have it installed over here on my phone already. And once you open it up, you can go to Upwork over here. So as you can see, a job has just been posted on Upwork that matches the requirements. When you look at it, you see that there's video there and there's video editing and all. So all I need to do right now is to click on um, the, the, the link over here. I need to open up the Upwork app or open up the Upwork web website for me. And then I can now go ahead and apply for these jobs. It's that easy. It's that simple. Now that is for today's video. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be super happy to answer your questions and all of your queries and see just how to help you to make your freelancing career better and make me a more successful freelancer. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. I also have many other videos on my channel that will help you to build a successful freelancing career.